This week, we get a look at the cover of a new Obi-Wan Kenobi novel, page through some new Marvel comics, and more. Listen, I know the book of Boba Fett is over, but I just miss it. The teeny tiny chainmail, the Mandalorians fighting for honor, new Ranker content almost every week. I guess I could just rewatch it. Yes, that is a good plan, but first, let's get to the news. Another week, another piece of hot goss on Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hello there. This week, we're excited to reveal the cover of the upcoming young adult novel, Star Wars Padawan, featuring Anakin Skywalker's future master when he was but a Padawan himself. Written by Kirsten White, the story is centered on a young Obi-Wan in the beginning of his apprenticeship with Qui-Gon Jinn and features young Obi setting out on a mission alone, determined to prove himself. For more details on the story, along with a closer look at that handsome cover, make your way over to StarWars.com slash This Week. Director Rick Famuyiwa has shaped three incredibly important episodes of The Mandalorian, including the season two story, Chapter 15, The Believer. This week over on StarWars.com, we find out more about the events that shaped the storyteller. In honor of Black History Month, Famuyiwa sat down to talk about his own origin story as a filmmaker and how being raised by Nigerian immigrants has altered the lens through which he tells stories. Read the full conversation right now over on StarWars.com slash this week. This year marks the 20th anniversary of Star Wars Attack of the Clones, and to celebrate, Star Wars Insider will be featuring some brand new saga fiction short stories. Author S.D. Bendy will tackle a tale about Zam Wessel and Jango Fett. Richard Dinnick is taking us into the dark heart of General Grievous. George Mann will feed us a story focused on Dexter Jetster, and Rodney Barnes is saying, this party's over, in a tale centered on Jedi Master Mace Windu. For more on this multi-issue initiative, head to StarWars.com slash ThisWeekNow. Yesterday, we got a preview of coming attractions with not one, but two new comic previews from Marvel. In Star Wars The High Republic number 15, Skier saves his former Padawan Keeve Trennis from the Legion of Nameless Creatures feeding on the Force Wielders. And we also got our first look at Star Wars number 21, following a suspiciously short stormtrooper into the heart of Tarkin's will, only to find... Why, that's Shara Bay, rebel pilot and mom to one future resistance hero Poe Dameron. To page through for yourself, flip on over to StarWars.com slash ThisWeek. In other Marvel news, the story of a mysterious Beskar-wearing bounty hunter is destined for comic book shop shelves this summer. An eight-issue miniseries adaptation of the adventures of Din Djarin on screen in The Mandalorian Season 1, written by Rodney Barnes with art by Georges Genty, is on its way. For more on that, turn the page on StarWars.com slash ThisWeekNow. New Grogu content, always a gift. This week in Star Wars history, on February 21st, 2000, a fine selection of Trisha Bigger's gorgeous costumes from Star Wars The Phantom Menace went on public display at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in Los Angeles. It was less than a year after we first met Queen Amidala and her handmaidens, young Jedi-in-training Obi-Wan Kenobi and his master Qui-Gon Jinn, Shmi Skywalker and her galaxy-changing child Anakin, and so many others. Trisha's design set the tone for the all-new era of Star Wars storytelling long before the Civil War, and if you've been lucky enough to be in the room with even just one of her pieces, you understand why the display in the 8th Annual Art of Motion Picture Costume Design exhibit probably made millions of cosplayers suddenly cry out in sheer happiness. That's it for this week, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.